I want to back up for a minute. I want to ask you guys, how do you define being a broadcast manager? What What is that? Yeah, I've got like 10 questions that are all that kind of that kind of thing, <laughs> like the introductory. Yeah. What 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 is it? That's, I think, probably the most difficult question to answer <laughs> for this position. And I struggle with it every single time is, you know, when you go out anywhere, you, you often get the question, oh, well, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a broadcast manager. So what do you do? Um, I do. Please, you could you could list out like eighty individual things. It's exactly. Like, it, it's I mean, an so amalgamation gonna, of everything. In in comparison to these other roles, though, right? You have you have agencies, um, which perform a very specific function. Um, and I think we we had um, we had Omid on talking about uh, about agency stuff in conjunction with uh, with sponsorship stuff, and that seems to be a lot more. Uh, organizing and orienting around sponsored stuff, um, working with uh, par par partnering up with various companies, um, getting uh, sponsored um, playthroughs and um, affiliate deals and managing uh, some legal stuff, contracts and things that go along with it. The ag agency and, and doing many more uh, things, but agencies seem to have that play a, a very specific role. And you additionally have community managers. Um, which I, I, I guess I'm not entirely sure what community managers do, but that seems to be in terms of what, uh, what the role does and its, uh, seriousness or the severity of the role is, uh, below broadcast manager. It's something that could, and very often is an unpaid position. That's, that seems to be really common. Yeah, I would say like a community manager is more someone that works with the community versus like the back end stuff for a broadcaster. Like, yeah, they may do some of that kind of administrative stuff, but I would say the main difference there is, like, a broadcast manager does a lot of the things behind the scenes, a lot of administrative work, a lot of, like, leadership-type things, and mm -hmm. whereas a community manager is more uh, very front-facing to the community, like, they kind of do, like, events or, like, you know, maybe help with mods, kind of be, like, a, a liaison between the streamer and the community, um, where a broadcast manager may not be that the face or like the, the biggest face in chat, whereas they're busy maybe uh, doing some busy work, sending out emails, stuff like that. Yeah, so kind of using those two examples specifically, you have the, the agency, which has a big focus on the kind of business aspect of broadcasting. And you have the community manager that has a big focus on kind of the, the social aspect mm -hmm. and is kind of the face of the community. A broadcast manager is like a medium between those two roles. And can do um, those things as well, too. Yeah, oftentimes. exactly. Um, so you'll find managers are, you know, interacting with the community, handling events with the community, stuff like that. But they're also reaching out to sponsors or being that bridge between the, the broadcaster and the sponsor, as well as doing, I guess, a lot of the paperwork that's involved in that. Uh, a lot of the organization of the stuff that nobody ever really sees. Yeah, it's and a for, lot of invisible For good work. reason. It, yeah. You don't want to see that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> if you can see that stuff, then you're probably not doing your job right. Yeah. it's uh, That's how the sausage gets made. You just want the delicious sausage. You don't want all of that. That's true. Okay, so uh, then a, a question that kind of extends beyond that. You can very easily as, as sort of we're walking through this, you can, you can see how um, a broadcast manager very easily still has a, an incredibly powerful and strong role, even if you added in an agency and a community manager separately to handle those specific things. So what is it that that's left over there? Like almost, almost like what's the spirit of that? Is it, uh, is it, does it sort of do its own thing? Is it is it offloading roles from the from the broadcaster? Uh, is it is it adding new things to the to the plate? Um, I, I would say um, all of the above, really. It, yeah. It's something that is going to differ from broadcast to broadcast. That that's one of the key things like from about streamer this. To streamer? Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. It, that's one of the key things about this role that is, that makes it so difficult to describe is yeah. no two broadcaster broadcast managers are necessarily going to be doing the same thing because every broadcast has different needs, right? Depending on, on where it is and, and where it wants to be. So it's kind of up to the broadcast manager to facilitate that. Yeah. And, and the thing with being a broadcast manager and actually with any of these roles is that none of them are like strictly defined. Like you could have someone that does all of this. You could have some like very small roles. Like, uh, you know, for me, I don't have like, I have someone that I'm kind of working with to kind of fill this role. Um, but you also have like, you know, my mod team, I've delegated to do like, okay, these people kind of help with the highlights. That's a good these word. These people are in chat a lot. This person helps like with the yeah. technical bot stuff. So like, you know, we are trying to define something that is still very, very new. And um, just keep that in mind when we're talking about this and being a broadcast manager and finding a broadcast manager, becoming one, like, like this is something that, like, is just be being invented by the streamer based on the needs of streamers yeah. and, and Which can be where the industry goes. And super diverse. You know, how how much looking, work is needed. 